Welcome to CISPRO Tips from Positive Vision. This video will show you how to copy an SRS report in CISPRO. You can use this process to make a backup of a report that you want to change, or to create a copy that will be used as the basis to create a new SRS report. To get started with copying an SRS report, first find the report that you wish to copy. I'm going to go ahead and launch my CISPRO reporting services. Then I'm going to browse to the report that I'd like to copy. In this case, I'm going to copy my custom order report. I'm going to right click over it and choose export report configuration. The next thing it wants to know is where should I go and save this export to? I'm going to go ahead and choose the browse. And on my desktop, I've created a folder for my backup reports. Now I click save and it exports it out. The next step is to decide where you want to import your copy into. I'm going to put it into my testing folder. So I right click over the testing folder and choose import report configuration. Now I need to browse to that same folder that I just used. It's on my desktop and there's backup reports. Now in it I've got a new folder called custom order report which was the report that I exported. I have to go into that folder and here's the XML file so I'm going to choose to open that and it brings all the information in that I need. However this information is the exact same information that I exported which means it would be a complete duplicate including the name and the report file. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my description to be test and after my report ID I'm going to put an underscore and put test also so that way I know that I have two different report files. Now I click save and it has successfully imported. The next step that you need to take is you have to save your menu because the menu changes aren't permanent until you hit that button. So if I were to close out or crash my computer I would lose that import that I just did. Now that I've gone and saved it, I'm going to go ahead and right click over it and choose to design the report just to double check and make sure that it picked up the name change that I put onto my crystal report file. Once crystal report designer is popped up, I can take a look at the name of the crystal report and make sure that it is what I'm expecting. You'll notice a prefix and suffix were added. That is a part of how CISPRO keeps track of things and it will do that automatically. I'm going to go ahead and close this report and now I can make sure that that save button has not lit up again so it knows that that menu is permanent and I can exit out. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if there's any tips you would like us to record. If you would like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel and blog. And if you ever need help, you can always reach us by phone or email at www.positivevision.biz. Thanks and have a great day.